Hi, um, this video is how to set up a Royal Python tank, um, Royal Python or Ball Python, whichever one you call it. Um, I was going to do one of these videos anyway, but there's a contest on YouTube um, of enclosures, so I thought I'd just do it for that instead. Um, so yeah, this is me setting up my Royal Python tank. Um, I use a three foot tank, three foot long wooden tank which is great, it's perfect for an adult um, my adult's down there that's him he's um, he's got a pretty bad temperament but normally royal pythons have really good temperaments so uh, yeah so for bedding oh, I use cypress mulch which is just like chopped up bark and also there's a bit of um, bit of moss in here as well which this, that's gone dried out now but it helps keep the humidity up um, so yeah as a background I've got this exoterra foam background which is really cool and um, heating you need to, you need to have a heat mat because they need to have belly heat um, I have one under this side um, so that needs to be on 24 hours a day. You can have a light to for additional uh, heat, but I don't. The only reason I've got it on is for this video. Um, you need a hide on both sides. Um, in the warm side hide, the temperature needs to be low 80. Uh, no, in the warm side hide, the temperature needs to be low 90s. And in the cool side hide, the temperature needs to be low 80s. So once you've got your tank, you've got your bed in, um, nice background, your heat sorted out, you know, think, need to think about how to decorate your tank. So I'll just put the camera down. So um that plant over there was in already, it's attached to the tank so I can't take it off. Um, I've got another one for the other side of the tank, um, it's just a large exoterra plant, you get them at like reptile stores, so I just slide these along. So that's in there. Um, also, one of these from up here, and that's these are just what I'm using. I put one of these on the floor, which just makes them feel a bit more secure, and one of these, which is just another fake plastic plant. The reason I don't use um, real plants is just because, you know, you need to feed them and you need to give them soil and stuff like that and it's just a waste of time and they die and stuff. So what's the point when you can just have fake plants? Um, water bowl. Um, I did have a large dog bowl, but I dropped it and it broke, so I'm just using this for now. This is just like... Um, a plastic food bowl. So I'm going to stick that in there. So I'll just show you what it looks like at the moment. So at the moment we've got the plant over this side, we've got one of these down here, we got a plant down on the bottom covering the food bowl, we've got one up there because there's a gap between the two bits of foam so that plan just covers that up then we got one here um, so once you've sorted your foliage out you need to put your hides in this is what I put on the cool side it's just a blacked out ice cream tub with a hole in the front so I'll stick that over here and I'll cover that up with a plant so that looks pretty cool 
and over on the other side, another one. They need hides. You don't want to give them massive hides because they need to feel secure. And there we go. And also they definitely need to have hides on both sides just because, um, you know, if, you, if there's just one on the warm side, then they're going to spend all their time on the warm side. And if they need to cool down, you know, they want to cool down, but they don't feel secure cooling down in an open area. So it's just best to provide a hiding spot on both sides of the tank. Um, so that's my setup. Also, I have a log in there. Well, I'll just go get now. With my snake on it. So yeah, that's, that's in there. He's quite cool looking guy so I'm just gonna stick him in right. have a log going up there like that gives him a little something to climb on um, nice thick guy so yeah that's him and that is how you set up a royal python tank um, you watching uh, this video was made for the reptile contest so I'm going to try and put it on there um, so yeah keep tuned <laughs>